Hello, welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to install Linux Mint 7 on a virtual box. So, what we need to do is set up our virtual box first. So, I'm just going to actually click on new there, go next, call this Linux Mint. You can call yours what you like. And uh, down here, we want to select what we want. So we want Linux here. And uh, as you can see, there's no Linux min. So what we need to do is just put other Linux, go next. Uh, this is to do with a RAM. So I'm going to put probably around about a, say about a gig. About 512 being up, but that'll do. Leave that as it is. Go next, next. I want dynamically expanding storage. Go next, and there we have eight gig there. That's that's probably enough. Go next, and then finish. And then finished again. So I need to get my uh, stick that on the uh, desktop there. So what I'm going to do is go settings. I want to actually go to ISO image as you can see went to uh, CD-ROM there I'm going to point towards that ISO image I've got select that and you can see now it's selected click OK OK we're pretty much ready to go now you can muck about with the settings more if you want I can do that later on so I'm going to click start click OK this will actually start image okay just let it do its thing it's loading up you can probably just put that down there for now so we've just got this one box Just let it do its thing, really. Okay, that's starting to install now, as you can see. Just going to let it load. Takes some time, but once it's done, you'll have a cool operating system. Okay, this is my firewall, so I'm just gonna go OK for that. Click OK. Okay, once we get to this stage, I want to actually click on the install tab here. We're gonna keep getting this because it's a virtual box, but just now we need to click on this. Once we've done that, that will start to install. And we want to select English here. Let's go forward. Well, I don't live in the States, I live in the UK, so we're just going to click on UK, London. You can actually use the pull down tabs here if you want to, rather than just click on the actual, um, the actual map itself. Go forward. United Kingdom, that's cool. And this is just a test, basically. Yeah, so okay. So go next, forward. Okay, this is the bit where we're just going to say uh, the whole drive, basically, which is 8 gigs. I'm just going to let that do the whole lot. Go forward. Okay, this is where we need to set up our name. So I'm going to call mine, say for instance, Brytech. As you can see, just give me uh, my username there, login name is called Brytech. And this is where we need to put our uh, password. Okay, we're 
I'm just, I'm just going to leave that as it is. Brightech dash desktop. That's okay. You can call it what you like, really. If you want to change that, you can call it whatever you like. Okay. So it wants me to choose another password. Put in there. Let's try that. Oh my god, eight characters. Me can't count. Next, just going to allow that to go through. Okay, going to go install here. You can read this if you want to. I'm not going to bother. You've got an advanced there if you want to go advanced, but I'm just going to click on the install button. It shouldn't take too long to install. installation is nearly complete that took a couple of minutes two and a half minutes something like that to actually install download some language packs and stuff like that but it's pretty much there now as you can see just configuring the hardware and once that's got to 100% we should be pretty much good to go So it's installing the last few bits. Okay, so now we get the uh, continue testing or restart. So basically, what I want to do here is I want to restart, and I also want to take off the unmount my drive. Okay. Otherwise, if I don't um, if I don't unmount, what's going to happen is it's going to carry on booting into that ISO image that we've got booting up to. So what we need to do now is just let it do its thing. Once we've unmounted it, should load straight in now. get this option screen here and all we need to do is click on start Linux Mint should be just loading in now okay so there you have it it's all installed now I uh, hope you enjoyed this video my name is Brian from brightech.co.uk if you enjoy my videos please subscribe to my channel and also rate for my videos if you've got any questions leave a comment up there or post me an email or register on my forum and put a question up there Thanks again for watching, thanks for your support, bye for now.